my freestyling is Fluxo. Well, they're not looking too strong either with this player coming in. They got a couple of upgraded pistols. They got the scout here on Lux. Not the typical choice for Lux. And oh, the Kowsi catches a man unawares as Che Kazoo searches his way up through the tunnels from B. But for some reason, his teammate smokes him off and Phelps goes in for a bit of damage, but can't quite find anything. But Woody, Woody has just lost the bomb and Togs. The man we said to have gone out for has to fight against Lux, who unfortunately for him is going to need to use his Glock in this MP9 engagement. Now, support is coming up, running up Catwalk quite swiftly. As Lux now, with all this extra firepower, should be enough to overwhelm Togs, or at least you think, as Togs runs out of ammo and into the 3v3 with Spun. I mean, when you consider the fact that this is a, uh, almost a full eco coming through from Fluxo right now, the fact that they've been able to get this into a 3v3 is very impressive. Low HP across the board. It's only Che who's uh, actually healthy right now. <laughs> he is incredibly privileged, sitting there all happy, high and mighty on 100 points of health. Yeah, this is going to be heavily reliant on Che with that A1S. He's got the armor as well, but JNT has the opening duel. Will cut down Lukowski. Very low HP, thankfully, for the side of JNT. Now, ooh, that nade almost takes him out. It's a great effort there from Fluxo, but it's not quite far enough. Now Lux on 4 HP of his own, blinded, and all trying to get the bomb down, misses the plant spot briefly, as now Phelps will be looking to deal with none other than Nissim. But Nissim has actually gone all the way around to Long for a big wrap. Lux, in the meantime, looks to wrap up a couple of kills here, does damage. Now everyone's on one hit from death. Massive kill there from Lux as JNT edges his way up the ramp. Lux is unawares, but oh my goodness, Lux gets Nissim. It's all down to Phelps and JNT in the 1v1, and there is no defuse kit on JNT. Taps the bomb. Phelps is playing this perfectly, though. There's not going to be enough time for the defuse on the Phelps. Oh my god, it's a one. Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Leas. Tô aqui no começo do vídeo para apresentar a vocês o KnifeX, que é um site top 1 no mercado, onde ele tem o sistema Crash, onde ele tem o Game Double, Game Wow, tem muitos games aqui tops, e você pode depositar suas skins aqui ou também fazer nesse seguinte formato. Você loga aqui no site, deposita de balanço aqui. Aí você escolhe a quantidade de dinheiro que você quer colocar e coloca o promo code que você ganha de 5 até 500% de bônus. Aí depende da sua sorte. Vem aqui, aplica, pode ser minúsculo ou pode ser maiúsculo. Só clicar aqui, aplicar e pronto. Fechou, rapaziada? Se você logar com o link do site que tiver na descrição, você já vai ganhar esse bônus automaticamente quando você entrar no site e você pode ganhar até 50 tal. É isso mesmo. Eu tenho duas skins, mas se você quiser, basta vir aqui em Shopping aqui embaixo comprar, deixa eu ver, vou comprar essa, vou comprar essa alga aqui também, vamos começar aqui, vamos colocar, esperar aqui crachar, pronto, vamos colocar 1 em 20 para começar, join the game, estamos aqui em primeiro, vamos ver se vai chegar até 1 em 20, rapaziada, chegou, bateu, rapaziada, simples assim, não esqueça de vir aqui, na sua conta, aqui em cima após logar e colocar seu trade URL para você poder tirar todos os seus ganhos aqui do site. Aqui também tem os seus históricos, seu inventário, withdrawal, transições e game históricos. Tamo junto, rapaziada. Não se esqueça, primeiro link na descrição, fortalece nós. headshot didn't even need to be with how low his opponent was, but still finishes the round off in style. I'm gonna say that Lux was a hero. Lux got two kills in that round before he died on that scale and che yeah can he be the hero of this one not quite the cows he shuts him down j and t gets lux what the hell am i watching vsm now running his way up long catches wind of togs and will force him out of position with a friendly molotov oh my god vsm almost loses that fight and oh he goes down to dlg my god Hayes, what are we watching Phelps and Lukowski to try to pick up the pieces here. Still a lot of time left on the clock, a bunch of utility at their disposal as well. Unfortunately for Sharks, even though they've gotten three kills, they haven't actually been able to recover any of the guns. We're going to see the wall of smokes coming in through here towards CT so that they're able to get across safely, no boost up. And well, Phelps has gone straight through. Oh my god, oh miss my him. God. How has he gotten the kill? Just popping around. He will eventually fall to the player. Lukowski also sees the player on the bomb side. That's DRG, DRG with the Desert Eagle, but he doesn't have a head. How, how have we gotten here? It doesn't make any sense. Lukowski fakes the bomb out. If he. Okay, he's not going to plant for long. I thought for a second he was going to open plant. 
allowing JNT full vision on him. But JNT now has no vision, as it's good enough of a plant that he could stand on car, he could stand at range and win this fight against just a deagle risky reload but that is a never ever bet more than you can afford to lose as too often do i see people claiming they have bet their nans their houses their cats on this game and <laughs> hey. honestly it's just not worth it as pulse that's a very nice opening kill how can you bet your nan that's disgraceful by the way <laughs> i think she does strange things Oh, great position, able to creep his way through the mid doors there, catches DLG completely off guard. DLG making his way in towards mid. There is a big push through lowers here though from Nissim. In the meantime, Che wants to try and crunch from short, but it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade initially. A lot of information available here, a lot of information clean for the T side, but they don't have much health. Yeah, it's not looking JNT, great for them. Other always than the in fact no man's that... land. Ooh, JNT, that's so unlucky. If he had any other gun there, that's a guaranteed round win for Young Sharks. But this him now has to swim his way through counter through counter terrorist spawn. Why am I giving it its full name? I'm like its okay. mother at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> You're angry with it or something? Bloody CT counter terrorist spawn. spawn! You come here right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've let too many terrorists through you again. As Lukowski is not looking to let any CTs come oh, wow, into his front. And in fact, it was okay. one of the Floxo players that I found it on. As Lukowski, I believe it was him, peeks out early doors, gets a nice shot off, but it's not going to connect. Che instead goes down Lukowski, and it's already a 5v3 to the CT side. I can't even tell a story without the round going awry. And yeah, the rudely in interrupted. The 309 to 1.37 for the side of Sharks. To ascertain throughout this half. We'll keep an eye on that and see how it continues to play out. Luxo have been able to get themselves up towards short. They're going to employ the Wall of Smokes. JNT deploys one of his own, hoping to try and take the attention away from Shay, who's towards Goose right now. Going to go one for one. Mollied out of position. Had to take the fight. Shay still playing around the fringes of the smoke right now. There's no flashes to actually force him back. JNT, there we go. Pounces, gets a kill. Going to continue to keep the T side at bay. Now the smokes have faded, so it's actually really difficult for Fluxo to try and cross. Have a look at Lukowski, though. Coming through with the backstab. If he gets that kill on Nissim, he blows the door wide open on the round. There might still be a chance, but Nissim was a the boot book. He's going to be able to get out of the position. Oh, no, man. <laughs> I had to rub one in there. That's, that's just a little bit, right? Just a little. But let's see if Sharks can do something here. 40 seconds on the clock. Flux are just trying to creep their way up along the bombs there right now. Very light in utility. They've got the wall in place, but they're not close enough to make use of the wall. Are they going to have to save again here? Surely not, right? That wouldn't be ideal at all. I mean, imagine, what, the fourth round in a row? You either get decimated or you're forced into saving again. It's, oh, DRG. He's done it again. as Woody. Oh, he's denied the bomb plant. It goes from bad to worse. The, the scene. So they have not dropped a series in the past two weeks, have Sharks. Also, fun fact about Togs is Togs has only been on this lineup for three months. And the impact he's been able to have getting these guys back to a finals, it's It's crazy. Not only that, but Sharks as a whole, their project just seems to keep on delivering. I don't know how they keep on doing it like this, but Sharks find the best talent in the region as DRG finds two towards middle. I didn't even realize this is a gun round. They've actually bought at least half into this. There's Lukowski and Phelps. I mean, Phelps is three and ten. This is the man you're relying on to get your entry frags. And look at him. He's just fallen flat. Falling flat on his face more like as Tog shuts him down. Lukowski finally bags an AK looking for a frag onto Tog and he'll find it. But it's still a 1v3 with a minute left. And JNT cuts him down. The double up setup has been incredibly reliable. And look at Absolutely. what I'm saying. JNT. That's just daylight robbery. It's bullying. In fact, it's not daylight robbery anymore. It's nighttime robbery since it's 2 a.m. Here, but TLG, regardless, catches another onto BSM. Does take a tiny bit of damage and trade. And Lukowski finally cuts down Che. No more walking on water for him. As Lux has seen the head of the RG and will finally cut it through. Are we about to see a fifth on the board for Flux? So Tog says no, at least for now. Wait, that's the bomb. Oh, that's no. the bomb. That's oh, God. Um, oh, and they, they know dear. it's. Is that a disaster? That that feels like a disaster. That's a disaster. That's that's a disaster of cataclysmic proportions. As Woody, he doesn't check J and T. I'm telling you now, Woody does not check J and T, or at least doesn't hard clear him. Ah, oh, why why can I see the future in such terrible <laughs> circumstances? Oh, Lukasi, one v two clutch opportunity. He's already gotten two kills in the round. He's really the only player who's actually been able to keep up. Uh, 
with sharks here in this half so far. Woody's just one kill to his name. He's going to end the half with one frag. Three for Phelps, five for VSM. That is a disaster for all three of those players. Very rough half. And unfortunately, Lakazi is not going to be making it any easier. 11 Of oh, Russia, which just impresses me that you guys are still going. As Phelps, I'm impressed that he's still alive and Lukowski is able to cut down Che. Lukowski picks up a double here as Nissim and JNT. Dubag want a piece in trade. The Sharks are not out of this round just yet. Don't get me wrong. Bomb is through the double doors here. This is now a big gap in that CT smoke, but an even bigger gap in the defense as Woody's now had his 13th death to only a single kill. Oh man, where do they go from here is the big question. Lux is in so much trouble, jumping back, looking for cover towards Long, but leaps into the <laughs> loving arms of DRG. And... Unnecessary maneuver as oh, down no, he goes. Oh. I mean, I was actually feeling pretty good for Fluxo because they had all five players sort of leaning in towards oh, the B side of the map. No. But it was from Shea. He's just styling on Fluxo at this point. He's thrown the textbook out the window. Do for their 2.0 ratings in the past three months because it's not going to be good. That's true. I, I mean, I also want to point out he's the IGL is Woody. If, and if your IGL is having such a rough game, how does that affect his calling right now though? They burst in towards the B bomb side coming through though. Fluxo have emphatically shut them down. Lukasi hasn't even been called into action. He's able to as peek out. demonstrated Woody. here, the favorites do not always Nikki. win. As why? Why are you? Why is it working? It doesn't make sense. They find the opener, but some other one clears Lukasi. If someone shakes the other way, then maybe they have some success, but they don't. The flashbangs are really good, actually, but Nissim and JNT are blinded as well. Lukowski pushes on in. JNT will fall. Nissim, he's asking for a bruise in here as Woody. For some reason, is very scared to peek him. That does insinuate that there's a man behind, and there is, but Lux comes out Coming on top. He's hearing the footsteps. He's calling to his teammates. He's going to have a flank coming through, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to My stop them God. from getting into the side. Togs goes back. Double check. 59, wrap it up. Six map points for Sharks. Big round there for Togs. A dastardly double coming on through and Fluxo on the flip side. They've been completely locked out. Yes, they can go for a save. Yes, they can upgrade a couple of weapons. Lukowski bags an AK for his troubles. But man, this has been outside of that five round streak they let slip. A near masterclass from the Shark squad especially after so many wacky rounds in that first half. Yeah, absolutely. Great performance coming through from Sharks. Just outright domination. Shouldn't be able to keep too many players alive here. Unfortunately for Shea and Togs, they didn't have health, so they weren't able to stay into the bomb site to uh, yeah, survive. This time, though, it does have a little bit of utility and support not too far away either. That's Woody, who's got the molly and smoke. He'll be the first responder. VSM on the jiggle. Been spotted by DRG, who tries to chase it down. Will successfully attain the kill, but Woody's the responder. As I mentioned, AWP holding down the line. Two kills going to be enough for him. Starts to dump in the utility. Support comes through from Phelps as well, and that's going to be more than enough for Fluxo to make sure they stay alive here on Dust2. Yeah, Chey and a dastardly one. I know it's online and everything. Everyone's playing with that little bit more confidence. But Chey will get some of that confidence wiped off of him. Is Phelps? Oh no, Phelps me? didn't see Phelps. him. Phelps, no, no, he's walked over him. Chey gets a freebie, but Phelps still no. finds a frag on the JNT. That's such a misplay from Sharks. I can't believe he's been allowed to get a frag in that circumstance. It is ridiculous. Everything about this game has been ridiculous. The circumstances surrounding it, the fragging, the plays, the scoreline. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, JNT is not going to be happy about that one. I can tell you that much for free. Fortunately, he does go down completely unaware of the prospect that his back wasn't completely covered. But anyway, four versus four, 40 seconds left on the clock. It's going to be Woody who stands between Sharks and the safe bomb site. Nissim just trying to take some attention towards the opposite side of the map, but now it's about the flashes. Woody forced back initially, able to reassume the angle though, and spots Shea out before he gets blinded. So now he's able to continue to rack up the kills. Lukasi gets in on the act as well to take down the flanker, and this is going to be really difficult for Sharks to make work, but maybe there's a chance. I mean, Lux is down very low here, just 17 HP to Vitaly, and DH DRG, sorry, catches Lukasi. Into the 2v2 we go, but Togs catches one more. VSM finds a retreating player, but oh my goodness, as quick as that, Togs seals the deal, and the first map of our massively comfortable on. They've got two wins in three times they've played it, but there's definitely a lack of experience there, but Che wouldn't make you realize it. Lux does get a trade with Jewel Berez of his own, is into the 4v4 with Thrust, but 
Look at the odds right now, according to one expert. I've no idea which way round that was meant to be, but somebody is 1.77 as Lux is storming into the lead. Heels onto Togs and ERG. Julie's continued to aggress. Lux gets another kill. It's only Nissim left remaining. Wait, on for the ace? Yeah, certainly is. Nissim's in proximity as well. Fight at range will finally best one. But there's still so much more where that came from. Continues to tap away though. I mean, this is good damage coming through from him. Lux could be overexposed. He's down to five points of health right now. Nissim can recover the bomb. There's a bit of time left here as well. He's actually going to have a crack at this. Is this actually doable? They were going to let their teammate win the ace. And off the back of this, they might have just thrown the entire round. Nissim's in a very winnable 1v2 here. His jewels are completely isolated. Look at this from BSM. He's watching the rear retreat. He's watching in case Nissim decides to go towards B. But instead, Nissim investigates this bomb site. If he swings this corner, he's going to get locked. He's into the 1v1 here. Talking of aces, we might have a 1v4 clutch instead. As BSM now needs to desperately find this kill onto Nissim. They have completely thrown this round away for no other reason than a shiny number on the scoreboard for Lux. <coughs> and it might be a shiny round to Vitaly oh, no. unless they can find oh, this no. out. The time's running out. There's no diffuse kit. What's the timing going to be like? Nissim's not watching for VSM to come in towards Gap. VSM edges his no way forward. Way! Nissim hits the shots. He gets the kill. He wins. Edges <laughs> his way further up the ramp. Mac 10 inside was the 5-7. Oh, it's not going to get an opportunity. Phelps steals away that opener. Can the CTs win back on the force by oh round? God. Making the pistol meaningless. It looks as if they can. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Not only can they win the pistol, they can make it look easy. It's only Nissim left remaining. One versus five. They know exactly where he is. He's desperately trying to chase him down right now, but they're also forcing the issue. He's running out of ammo. They're pushing oh no. him towards his position. Finally gets a kill, but traded straight out. After yeah. the after Sharks get control of that B bomb site. And now they've got a full eco to play against. A bit of an overextension there from Woody. It means he will get traded out after one. I feel like Woody's movement has been a little off for these past couple of games, as has the fact that the Glocks have been able to get two kills that easily. No way. Stop it. Nissim gets another. Locks no, goes down. No, 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 not in a round no. like this, please. For the mother of all things holy, BSM, it's a 1v2. He's coming up the back line, though. They've got no idea. They're both looking the wrong way, but the bomb's just gone down. It's a 1v1 against Nissim, and Nissim wins it in a round No, like that's fair enough. I think these are our paralysis demons. Sharks are our paralysis demons. And as, as they come towards us with Glocks, there's just nothing we can do but let Nissim entry again. Woody dies. Lucas, he's next on the platter, but finally someone is able to fell him as VSM. That's a lovely one, dude. Togs slips oh, one straight fight. back into his opposition as, yeah, Togs now left in a 1v3. It's not looking great for him here. They can win with pistols, but not with rifles, which is, again, a common theme for Sharks. Oh, oh my Togs. goodness. That's should never have gotten that gunfight as easily as he did. Phelps should have had that kill dead to rights. BSM, he's the one who's controlling the bomb right now. And Lux, reluctant to go for the gunfight. Hogs desperately trying to find an angle here to try and force this fight up with BSM. Mm. Oh, yes, man. He is. Time of the yes. essence drops down. They've got he no idea that they them. walk past him. Oh, this is huge. Half of them don't even have their guns out, but they do now. But they're going to still walk past him regardless. Wait, Phelps doesn't even realize there's two behind him. DLG spins around. Che goes down to be a send, but DLG bags another. Lux spins on him for more. The kill feed is a light as Woody from the rear flank. These JNT in a one versus three. And I do not quite understand how we've gotten here. Everyone walking past everyone. Clearly, they need to turn their headset volume up as down goes to but. It's not baiting, apparently. It's tactical waiting as they've actually edged their way back to A. Oh, no, this boost. Oh, dear. It's not going to end well, is it? I have I a mean, feeling. Luxo have used this boost once already, so surely Young Shark oh, no, consider it off. no worst possible timing. Worst possible timing. And now they're in pretty awkward positions to try and defend the bomb site. Oh, yeah, two of them cut off towards the short side. One spin should get them both, but instead, Phil's back to double Nissim. Of course, it's Nissim to trade one out and talk to another one to Luke Alzi. It's somehow a 3v2 in this scenario as the Orp narrowly misses the wallbang kill. Reload comes in for Woody, using up all of his five allotted bullets. And Lux, well, he does come in to join his teammate. He's 13 in three right now. Talk about a god tier aimer. As the nades whiz past the head of Nissim. That is a nightmare angle to clear. It's just not going to happen, is it? It's going to be a save here for Fluxo. That is the inevitable option. Fluxo here. 
It's not going to be a clean one, but oh my goodness, Phelps. Phelps is standing in front of three separate people. Jay finally shuts him down. Phelps is getting so aggressive down ramp here. He was doing the exact opposite when he was on the T side against uh, Fusion earlier on. And I don't know how that kill has even come into play for Lux. Lukiozzi catches JNT as well. DRG with another trade. This is pandemonium in the making as Nissim somehow catches another in Woody. Lux still alive in sandbags. Finally Molotov out of position. DRG goes down for the Molotov and he's going to catch Nissim as well. This man is on a terror. He's also going to be baiting Fox Bait oh, into in the bank of a few of the CT players as well. So, a bit of a swing round in play here in the 12th. Collision onto Phelps. Gives away his position. Doesn't matter in the end of the day, that. though. Himself and Lux still find the opening kills. Lux just can't be stopped right now up to 18 and 3. Ripping the server alive. This man has found so much impact in so few rounds. It's ridiculous as Phelps is still alive. JNT. Smoke actually clears for him. He's had a great multi kill in that round there. It was an eco from Sharks, though. 10 3. They're starting to really fall behind here in this first half. Another opening kill comes through for the CT side. Flash is great there. Lux completely blinded up. There's more where that came from, though, for Fluxo. I don't know how would he gets away with another oh, that's massive. Oh, but he does miss the opportunity with that Molotov. He should deal damage, Togs. Why would you jump that? It just doesn't make logical sense. It's VSM. He's farming up two more frags. JNT, it's another 1v2, but at least he's got full HP and an AK for this one. He's being flanked out here, though, so his time is on a lifeline, uh, on a timeline, should I say. His life is on a timeline. There we go. Enough That's space okay. to get the bump plant. Oh, no. Although, as the molly spreads, he gets brought down so damn low. Back into the trap he goes. Because he springs the trap, but not able to get the kill immediately off the bat. J JRT, or JNT, spots out Woody. 18 and 11. The rest of the squad have not even got his tally combined, if my maths is correct. Phelps, though. It's another entry frag down a ramp. You'd think they'd have figured out how to deal with him. They've had 15 rounds to do it, but into the 4v4 we trundle. As Woody is about to have three players trundle straight into his crosshairs, and Nissim is the first, but Nissim strikes harder. Great kill coming through from DLG. Activates off the back of that as well. They're going to continue to try and transition straight in towards the safe bomb site. Lukowski is the first responder on the angle. Gets the kill onto Nissim. There's no immediate response, but he's lost his teammate in the process. Been able to slink his way back through the smoke, but look at this. Togs is on a big lurk right now. Lukati has his knife out. Easy kill for Togs. 11 4. Is that the big? I've not read it yet, but I think he'll have to after this. Is Phelps. Well, that's an important opening frag. Che goes down. It's a 5v4, and the T's continue to find those important kills as DRG finds one of his own, but Lukowski ensures a two man advantage is retained by the tantalizing T side. Should be no way here for Sharks to get back into the round and VSM make sure he seals that deal. Explosive pistol round coming through from Fluxo. Just players grouped up, making their way in towards the A-bomb side, overwhelming anybody who comes in their direction. The IGL. Bit of Fat Boy Slim thrown into the mix. Yeah? Yeah, right here, right now. Good song. As Tox, that's a good entry, but he massively overextends with no support from his team. Makes no util to even aid in that escapade. And with that, well, Buxo end up dealing the pain, and that's a whole different Brazilian kettle of fish. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I do feel like a third map is on the cards here, Hayes. I mean, Sneaky, that's a bit of a stretch. Need to be careful not to pull a muscle with all that stretching. JNT spots it out completely blinded up, overwhelmed. That's going to be a kill in towards middle. Now it's going to be pressure on the B bomb side. It's Nissan though, who's in proximity. Normally been the man to stand tall for shocks, but this time gets dealt with by VSM and felt to try and lock in the round. He sees Shea playing on the fringes of the smoke. Fluxo march on should be 15th. Or well, will it be DRG? Maybe not. Big 1v1. DLG could still make the magic happen. It would help if he was on the right bomb site, but we can't have everything we want in life. He's going to have a good chance at this, though. I mean, time will be against him because he doesn't have a kit, and Lux has quite a lot of utility as well. But DLG can have a right old crack. Why not? 1v3, turn 1v1. Got a smoke for that bomb. He's got a Molotov for either short or ramp. It's the perfect storm he could cook up here. One of the major problems is there is a grenade on Lux as well as the flash and the molly. The molly is now obsolete. Oh no. 
And oh, that's massive from no PLG. Time. He's not got time. Valiant he? effort, no. but no, there's no chance. There was only about six seconds left when we questioned it. And with that, DLG, not very often have they come out trumps. Now, JNT needs to find this fragging towards middle, shoots between two players, but Che does pick up a four. Flashbang will not allow JNT to escape as Phelps gets malicious, vicious in his pushing, catches a headshot onto the CT retreating player. Che, though, oh, that's just brutality squared. They catch two for the price of one. Three versus two. Floxo still back the advantage and told to miss him. They once again have to do the impossible. And look at this forward positioning from Phelps. Might even catch the off angle of the Togs. And of course he will. Miss him. Last alive in a 1v3. And oh my god, it's 15-4. I just realized he needs to 1v4 yeah. clutch this or we're going to map three. What a massive effort coming through from Phelps. I mean, he's just picked up his teammates, throwing them on his back and carried them through his round here to win the map point. They were not looking good. This round was looking dead in the water at the five versus three. But Phelps breathes life back into it himself and VSM blow the door wide open with their hitting towards middle. Nissim compromises his position. Sure, he's got the kit. Sure, he's got the utility coming through. One kill on the low HP player. VSM trade 16-4. Fluxo take us to a decider in the grand final. They want to defend their title. They certainly do with a 60. This is the perfect setup for Sharks, to be completely honest, considering the fact that Fluxo are coming in towards the safe bomb site. Luxo just rips the head right off of the CT player, and they're able to trade the sandwich player out as well. It's all on Nissim's shoulders. He too will go down. Trade train favoring the T side. Big skirmish here towards Catwalk. Phelps could pretty much lock in the round if he wins this duel right here, right now. And T, though, ensures that he doesn't give up the frag and instead comes back and delivers. But they are severely running out of time. And JRT has just overlooked the jungle player. Woody finally makes himself oh, known, but the knife is out. And oh no! BSM has missed! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Chunk of a deep fuse out of nowhere! As his train derailed, despite a nice couple of openers, now has four kills as he decapitates J. 5v4 as Nissim needs to start clawing a couple of these kills back. And why are you watching? The upper angle, something your teammate had covered at the time. Lukowski catches the head of Togs as well. And are we really going to see Fluxo steal away another conversion oh, yeah. from Sharks? Oh, no, this one's done. This one's dead in the water. They haven't even done a single point of damage. I don't even know if any of the Sharks players fired a single bullet in this round. They've just had their heads oh absolutely gosh. ripped off. DRG, he'll suffer the same fate. An absolutely flawless four spy coming through from Fluxo. Oh, only 24 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, Fluxo have left themselves so much to do with so little time on the clock. Great kill coming through there as well. But the problem is that they're playing against that clock as well. As I've already mentioned, it's JNT on the B bomb site. 10 seconds left remaining. Phelps has cut off any of the rotations. JNT just trying to stay alive for as long as he possibly can. Wouldn't he won't even be able to get the kill? And Phelps just needs to make sure that he doesn't die after the timer now. Now full mid-control gained by the ferocious Fluxo, JNT, as he realizes a man behind him in window. Well, clearly not, but Togs may soon realize it, as somehow he wins out that fight against Lukowski. VSM trades with Phelps because Phelps has taken damage. VSM... Full, still, full, still full health is able to go for the wide swing, gets that big kill. There's still so many players towards the safe bomb site here, though, for the CT side. They underneath Palace as well will be dealt with by Woody, but there's more where that came from. In the meantime, Nissim's crept in towards the bomb site himself, and Togs are both so incredibly low, but they're alive. Now, that was a massive waste of a Molotov. If Lux had thrown it over on towards Ticket rather than trying to bounce it off the wall so low, it could have come into so much more use. But instead, Lux still finds usefulness as he catches the RG, almost kills another on the jump. Togs is playing with fire here towards CT. As Nissim, if he's not careful, will get caught off guard. But Tox instead catches Lux in the same scenario. Phelps 1v2 has an AWP in his hands. Really not the weapon for the job. Now, as that bomb has been tagged, they're going to have to stick it. And regardless, it's going to be made safe as Nissim finds the frag. Bags an AK and seals the round at 3-3. Three three. On the road to James Bonding here if he's not careful. Then he needs to be careful in towards Palace as VSM swipes him. Pulls his feet from under him, and that is a lovely opener in towards the A-bomb site. This is where Fluxo need to capitalize. Yeah, they absolutely need to convert this into a round win. That put so much pressure onto Sharks. 
Sharks have responded again, though. They continue to rotate very early on here. As soon as they get some sort of information, they re respond immediately. And again, it means that they've got the numbers here towards the safe side of the map to deal with the hit that comes through. Flux are constantly wondering, how are there always so many players that we have to try and execute into and deal with? But talking of executions, Shark look to deal exactly the same to the side of Flux. So when Chase starts throwing, but Lux... Very fast trade comes in, and the health is just so precarious on everybody, except, ironically, the Orpa. They have to be a Mission Impossible play for Nissim. Perhaps not so impossible now, though. Eight seconds left. The bomb needs to go down. Lux is completely That's surrounded. Right now here on the map. The only player who's getting any info, it's Nissim, who's pushed all the way through Palace, so... That's going to be a healthy amount of info for them to play with. 28 seconds left on the clock. Now, Execute starts to come through in towards this uh, B bomb side. It's going to be numbers up. Catwalk, VSM spots it out. DRG, that's a big kill. DRG's nightmare here. Mirage continues as Shay's dream scenario unfolds right in front of him. No, he awakes into reality. Only one kill, one and done. Three versus three on the retake. Oh, JNC almost snaps onto the head of VSM. It's a nice counter strafe, but it's not going to be enough to find the head. Now, Woody. Looks to get ahead, but the rest of Fluxo as Togs is still very low HP towards the market window. Doesn't overextend though, but JNT on the flip side, he may well do. He's walking past him, they're touching each other. Oh my god, how have they done this? They've walked past each other on the bomb site now, dancing around. The bomb gets tapped and Woody will snap. 2v2 is continually dancing around the site as Woody and realizing they don't have a chance in hell without an abuse skip. Sharks, they fall away. And my god, the timings in that round were a mess. Staying awake and going straight <laughs> into them from here. Yeah. Well, Honorous Eclot is meant to be my first one. As Lukowski denies DLG his first frag, he's Jimmy Bonding. It's Lukowski! Where the hell has that 3k come from? On the pass, clearly, but man, he does it in style with a 4k! J and T last alive in the 1v4. This is insurmountable from the young man. Woody finally <laughs> puts the bomb on down, but Lukowski, that is disgusting! He is an absolute live wire. Only two points of health left to his name, but my god, he's taking down four victims in style. Great awareness as well, just watching above him for that catwalk peak to come out. He could even be on, for, on course oh, for the no. ace here as well. Oh, JNT, no. not going to fall victim. <laughs> Actually able to get that kill just in and time. more fast, fast pace coming through from them again as well. Yeah, you're right. That's five consecutive rounds as Lukowski. It's probably like five consecutive entries from him. He's been going nuts as Che does finally trade this one back. Now, DLG, he's been pretty useless so far, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. But that is a massive opener. Can he find the second? No, goes down to BSM. That, in fairness, was a tough one to recover from. But Che and T might have just done enough. Che bangs another. Woody 1v3. This is a grand finals. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen. And that shot from Woody is certainly grand finals caliber. Very swift reaction times. But he's still got the bomb, and the only person stopping him from a full rotation is none other than Che. Che waits patiently and gets a turn back. Woody goes down. I guarantee you they're not gore, mate. No oh, taste no. of gunpowder no. as Woody. That is appalling from Che. Gets a freebie, and they walk past each other in the smoke. Phelps is playing Vertigo all over again. As he touches J and T. Walking past him on the stairs. Now 5v3. This is a nightmare scenario for a last round of the half for Sharks. Yeah, absolutely it is. I mean, it's gone really well for Fluxo so far, just in terms of how the kills have fallen into their lap. Peek out of Sandwich, easy to snap up that frag, and then Phelps ends up with a player in his lap. Still, the job not done just yet. There's a couple players towards CT. DRG at range on Catwalk. Can he hit a miracle shot through the smoke? VSM not committing to the bomb plant, just the fakes for now. Needs oh, to make sure he doesn't well. overcommit. This bomb plant still hasn't come through here. Now he's been dropped by Nissim. That smoke towards Connect is going to start to fade. Akazi able to activate. Okay, everybody take a deep breath. Togs' life is on a timer as well. He goes down 9-6 flux. So finish the half in impressive fashion. For what is the final half of the CCT South America series, we are back. And it's going to be an execution towards the safe. Bombsite, great first kill. Julie's only going to be able to net a single kill between four pistols. Not at all what Fluxo had in mind for them when they invested into those guns. Now they're going to have to make a retake happen. Sharks have full control. Yeah, big start for Sharks here. But we've already seen many a time that it doesn't really matter if they win the pistol. They tend to throw away the second like it's free candy. But Phelps, oh, it's eye candy for that Glock as he takes a quick ding come down. PSM tries to win his way through jungle, but spotted by the saving. Palace player forced away. And... 
Are they saving already? Really? Wow, that was very snappy. Clearly want to hold on to some of that armor. BSM, will he be allowed? It just about escapes. It'd be kind of foolish for JNT to follow him through. Surely he knows the angle is held. But, ooh, Phelps. Phelps is looking kind of free. And down he goes. An unwise peak, but in fairness, he had no armor or util to speak of. But, Togs, that was foolish. JNT realizes just how foolish it was. Two seconds, but Jay does eventually cut him down. But will they clear Phelps? Yes, they will. But he will take an AK down beforehand. Lux a 1D. Woody on the scout does miss a crucial kill, though. And Lux has been given further players. They are very much over respecting this smoke if Lux gets another no do not let this happen again sharks this is a grand final you can do better as dlg and nissim have lost to alive and oh god they've lost dlg it's nissim in a 1v2 now as he does at least catch yeah, Lux. before he commits to the bomb plant now his mission and his objective is trying to cross he takes a lot of damage in the process and that's why he decides against actually trying to get onto that a bomb site instead he's going to be heading in towards b is Woody close enough to hear these footsteps? No, no unfortunately not. not. Bomb plant going to come through. Is he close enough to hear that? No, but he will hear the ticks. Does he oh, hear the no. beeps? There we yeah, go. He's got he the does. read. He's he got does. the information. Doesn't have the kit, but one USP shot will get the kill. You could tickle Nissim right now, and he would keel over and die. But Nissim... Oh, it's all down to timing. It really is all down to timing. And Woody just spots Nissim. And it's not the same story the other way around. With just three points of health, there is no way Nissim gets this one over the line. Surely Woody spins the corner and down goes Nissim. Wait. It's happened again. He doesn't have a kit. He's no, good. Is there enough time? No, he's good. For the moment. Oh my goodness. Somehow goes down to Che. And DRG gets another. DRG, only his third kill of this map, has been a massive weak link for Fluxo so far. And not only that, their team play's been rough. Their trade spacing non existent for the most part. But Nissim has been a constant factor throughout these past two maps. Quietly plodding along, getting the necessary frags, and almost won out that clutch run in the previous, but Lux clutches on to his AK as Togs will fall trying to retrieve it. DRG does actually bring back one of his own. A nice little jump up there, but VSM is looking to deny them saving anything further. Look at him go on the Bamas. Oh no. Only good for the one, though, and actually there's not massive... No, but this they time, it's not SMGs and Famai. This Am time, I? it's an open rifles. Yeah, you heard the Famai before? I have. But VSN doesn't have one, as you appropriately pointed out. And down goes Nissim as... Oh my goodness, the kill feed is a littered with blood. Both, both sides losing multiple players in a matter of mere moments. As my alliteration runs out, so does Che's lifespan. As JNT's left in a 1v3, Bomb is on his back, but... I'm... JNT gets back towards ramp and oh, importantly no. picks up a molly, but he's going to be peeking in towards Lakazi. Able to connect on a shot, but it's not going to be the kill 12 vague. Fluxo take one step closer. Four round deficit this time to Sharks, rather than an 11 round deficit, then turn 12 when they lost the map. Actually managed to take so much space in middle, I have no idea how he's gotten this far, and catches Phelps. Phelps gets a taste of his own medicine, but BSM will trade Woody another this him. As I said, a deagle is all he needs to get into a round, and that's exactly what happens. Three versus three. Niss him another, as somehow the player with the worst investment, the least economy, is having the most impact again as Che catches Lukowski off guard completely. Lux's shadow has been revealed, but unfortunately we are frozen. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and, um... I wonder if that's the server or our connection to the server. Think about that. Ooh. Not a chance to answer it because Shark, they're playing with pace <laughs> once again. Oh, that's gorgeous. Togs rips Lukowski from the server. Lux now caring in the back of the B-bomb site, praying that the rotation's coming quickly. Molotov will deny help on the site itself. As further, you till rains on into market. Somehow, Lux is still alive here, but Woody certainly isn't. Lux continues to spray, but Togs is there to shut him down. BSM creeps on out. It's a labored spray and a labored frag, but last alive is Phelps. No more entering for him as he lurks in the shadows, realizes he's very fraggable here. Makes a dropping sound anyway. Could shoot the vents to try and trick them into thinking he's saving in window, but decides against it and instead edges his way backwards in CT. JNT doesn't want to let him save, but unfortunately will go down, which probably isn't the brightest idea. But at the same time, if they can win this hunt, Fluxo are completely broken. These are grand final plays coming through right now, baby. This is exactly what we want to see out of Sharks. So aggressive. 
Oh, he might make it even worse for them. He's just been heard. They've managed to bounce the flashbang off of Belt, but Lukowski bounces led around. He's going to cut down two to Vitaly. Find a third with a USB. This is drastic. And perhaps this isn't the play. Lux gets another. It's 1v4 for JNT. And that orb is not long for this He's world. Behind Lux the T side. DLG, that's a great frag to find. And Lux has been mollied off. That sound cues, but Nissen falls. Lukowski, it's another double from the same angle. And the same exact crossfire crumbles Sharks again. Two versus four. Togs need to kill, and he needs it now. The bomb on JNT does still have an AWP in tow, but the AWP won't be much use because it can't get anywhere within sight line of Lux. So let alone range. Lux. This is a dastardly off angle. It's a one way that Tugs will not anticipate. Spam's ticket booth trying to do anything, but with 20 seconds left, this has to be the save call. Flux, so they've done it. They found themselves map series and grand final point. A huge opportunity, two chances for Fluxo to close the sudden regulation. And with four players staying alive, they're actually going to build up a bit of a cushion economically as well. Great effort coming through from them to shut down the slow plays. Sharks even got the opening kill and I'm going to be incredibly limited once they actually start to get this underway. There's still flashes in play for the T side. A few kits oh, available for the CT. VSM is crept into the bomb side from the inside out. He gets two kills. Orb still in play. This one towards Connector as well. I think VSM spots him. Bombs not planted for him. Bombs not planted for anybody. VSM gets the kills and the defuse. Flux so are the champions. They win 16-13 on the decider and they are the undisputed of the CT South America.